Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Blind Play Amnesia, a machine for pigs. I'm Ultima Mantoid. We ended up down here. I think we need to do something up there. I mean, there was a reason that that lowered this rope here. Or this plank, walk thing, whatever you want to call it, I guess, thing with jigger. And I do believe that is the only option we have. So, well, let's go do that. That means get up and climb. Thank you. Oh. Okay, I see, I see. I gotta walk the edge. Hey, at least it's realistic. Oh, God. Oh, it's down there. So we can get up here now. <laughs> what did that do? I am very curious. Well, I have gotten up here. Of course, somebody messages me. Thank God I had it on vibrate. I have got to do something here. Freaking, I swear, it's like the chasm again. Yay! But not really. Wait, I took damage? From what? Do not remember these things. Okay. I guess I can die if I fall off of a place high enough. Even though I don't think there's a character inventory. Oh! 
duh, this opened. I feel like an idiot. I'm just walking around. Oh, jeez! Fuck! It was just another freaking shake. Time flies playing this game. I swear. What in the? What? But the gate shut behind me. More electrical sabotage. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage, if somewhat repetitive. The stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. Okay. I need another fuse. Much is certain. Nothing. Oh, never mind. That gate is closed. So is this one. Well, I need to get a fuse from somewhere. Oh no, I gotta go in that. I gotta go that way, don't I, to get the fuse. Oh god. I don't know if I want to do this or not. Hello? Now to find a fuse. A fuse. Let's crouch down here and grab it. Let's just run back and pop this thing in. The path is clear. It seems this chemical processor is merely one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then. I will follow my fever, the calls of my children wherever they may lead me, as I move further into this strange empire. Pig's Gauge? Huh. Before I go that way, I want to go down here and see if there was anything down here. A page. Okay, I'm glad I came down here. August 19th, 1899. 
Von Kaikenbach. I'm assuming that's how he's... Or maybe Reichenbach? Eh, whatever. Von Kaikenbach writes of the Odic Force, whilst that ignorant charlatan Blavatsky pontificated upon the skull, uh, um, pontificated upon the soul. They are both Cretans. To think one would strive for such great heights without wading first through puke and innard, without standing upon an architecture of bones. Montezuma was the wiser. But here, in our temples of steel, I have witnessed the severed head of a man, recently trampled to death by a runaway carriage, immersed in a solution of the Brennenberg compound, open his eyes, and cry, Oh, where are my legs, sir? Where is my body? We are breaking through the barriers of death itself. Oh, my dead darling Lily, it is too late for you, but I promise you this, I will save our children from death, and, if need be, I will wrench them back from the blackness with this wonderful concoction. So, there was something. I don't know if I want to do this. Come over here. What the fuck? That was moving. That was fucking moving. I think I'm going to be a good little boy and go back this way. And go back through this gate. Like I was... What the fuck? Was that one of the children? Well, I was, Papa. We know the way. Oh shit, now I'm curious what's back in that other room. Damn it. Shit's gonna get me killed. But I've gotta know. I don't know if I want to go in here. Okay, I'm just gonna go back up. Just gonna go back up. Because the children are this way and I need to save them. So we're gonna do that. Love the fog effects. Okay. Something smashed this whole area. Can I make that jump? No, I can't. Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm gonna rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? Okay. I think... That just took me back this way. Yeah, it did. Wait. Was this here before? I told you he'd come. That is a very, very nice 
vault door. Maybe I thought I was here earlier? I don't know, this machine's complex. Alright, let's just go in. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Is that like... Oh, thought that was something. Okay. Now what? There we go. I just had to wait. I think I understand what this machine was. It's one of those pressurizing, depressurizing type rooms. I guess I'm not going to know what was in that one room. It's a ram. Alright, so that door is shut. Let's run over here. Ah, new area. The collar, the neck, the noose. Two cups of flour, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, a handful of mints, a bay leaf, a herb, a skeleton key for the nursery, and a mixing will go together. Um. Okay. Cryptic, but okay. I was about to say, if it's like a cooking recipe, I might try that. But it's obviously not. Let's turn on all the lights. Damn phone! Distributions clerk. What? Something moved over there. Something or someone is down here. Could have sworn I saw somebody.
I don't like that this music is playing. I want to stop it, but... There's going to be another hidden path. October 11th, 1899. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of a laudanum derivative in feed to subdue the product even before the initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pins onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products, or themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and well and kept well lit to maintain good spirits. We have actually found that the intelligent placement of gramophones and simple acoustic amplification tubes around the line means we can use music to further soothe the product. We find it Debussy particularly effective in this regard. So it's literally a machine for pigs. It's not figurative. Fueling pumps. Volatile chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. Trojan man. Oh, wait. Sorry. My bad. Not that kind of protection. Pig corpses. Something's going to happen. Okay. Why did that sound like a door opened? The factory offices. I guess I missed one. All the suggestions of a large, work, large workforce yet no actual signs of life. It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex. Yet this facade, when examined closely, is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. Let's see the pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works. But the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Of that I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. So that doesn't work. Yeah. Looks 
Looks like a hook meat storage room. Oh my god, I have the pig. I want to hook you on the other hook. Can we? No. Swing free, piggy! Okay. window. Before I go out, I bet the store will not work. Oh shit, it will! And then it's another page. I feel like I'm playing Mist. Give me the page! The page! You know you want to give me the page! September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might think like a man, as if this is to be desired. One might almost boast of creating a man who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, rutting carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives on into the streets. Alleys and gutters running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings. The air thick with the whimperings of lust bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passers-by. And yet, this is the condition Babbage aspired to. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascensions soon enough. Okay, it's getting close to time. So I'm going to save it right here in front of this window. And I will see you all next time. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Blind Play. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Till next time, take care and have fun.